What's up guys? Today's video, we are trying new fast food items for 24 hours. Yes, yes, I am back with another one of these videos. So there are a lot of new items out right now that I've yet to try that I thought would make for another fun 24 hour video. So we're gonna be going around the fast food scene and trying them all. I will see you guys over at our first location. All right, you guys, we are at our first location, which is Dunkin' Donuts, and that is to get their new drink that is in collaboration with Ice Spice. She has apparently teamed up with Duncan to create a new drink called the Ice Spice Munchkins drink. It looks really good, which is why I wanted to try it. It says that the Ice Spice Munchkins drink blends its smooth, creamy, frozen coffee with pumpkin munchkins donut hole treats topped with whipped cream and caramel drizzle. It looks really tasty, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Hi, um, can I get a small Ice Spice Munchkins drink? Anything else? Um, can I also get a pumpkin donut? Let me check if you have some. Okay. No, we don't have any. Okay, do you have the pumpkin muffin? The muffin? Yes. No, we have the pumpkin munchkin. Um, no, that's okay. I'll just get the drink. You just want the drink? Yes, please. Five on one. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Why does Duncan never have any donuts? Duncan, you are a donut place and you never have donuts. Okay, so I'm having to hold my camera because right after I filmed my intro, you guys, my tripod broke. It just broke. So I don't know what's going on here. A few moments later. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome, you too. All right, you guys, our Ice Spice Munchkins drink has been secured. <laughs> I apologize about this giant steering wheel in the way. Um what are we gonna do about this i have no idea of course the tripod breaks literally as i'm trying to film a 24-hour video i don't know what we're gonna do you guys this may just be a chaotic video of me trying to hold my camera throughout the drive through the whole time but hopefully i can at least set you guys up once we're like stationary, let's see. Okay, got you guys set up. Y'all feel so far away, but at least you can see me. It'll it'll just have to do for this video until I can get a new tripod. Okay, on to the drink. This actually looks really, really good. So on the ticket, it has a bunch of different stuff on it. It says small frozen ice spice coffee, which comes with two pumpkin munchkins, one cream, one caramel drizzle, whipped cream, caramel drizzle again. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Whoa, okay, that is sweet. Like, sweet, 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 sweet. I really like the chunks of munchkins that's in it, but honestly, it's way too sweet for me. But if you like sweet drinks, you will absolutely love this, like, this will give you the biggest sugar high you could possibly imagine. This is basically like crack, but it's sugar, okay? It's also really cinnamony. I don't taste any coffee. I just taste sugar and cinnamon. Weirdly enough, it also kind of has a slight ice cream flavor to it. Whoa, okay. I am definitely gonna have a sugar rush if I keep drinking that, which may be a good thing. I'm a little bit stressed out right now because of the tripod situation but maybe if i can get a sugar rush going we can we can still knock this out okay i will see you guys at our next location for more new fast food items all right you guys our next new items are from taco bell this would not be a new fast food video if it did not include taco bell so the new items that we are getting is actually a new mexican pizza that they have it's called the cheesy jalapeno mexican pizza i think this actually came out maybe like a week or two weeks ago and then we're also going to get the new chicken enchilada burrito this looks so good i'm so excited about this just because of the word enchilada so let's go ahead and pop into the drive-thru hey how you doing hi i'm good how are you doing good how may i help you could i please get the chicken enchilada burrito okay just one yep just one and then could i also do the cheesy jalapeno mexican pizza and can i get a side of spicy ranch please and i'll do some diablo sauce and that's gonna be it all right everything current thing is nice yes the Diablo sauce, $7.94. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh god, my camera. Oh man, this is a struggle, you guys. Oh gosh. Did she say the second one down? 
Okay, how's it going? How good. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys. We have secured our Taco Bell bag. Yay! It smells so good. Also, I forgot to mention the price. So the Munchkins drink from Duncan was five dollars, and then from Taco Bell, this enchilada burrito was two dollars. Very good price. And then the Mexican pizza was five ninety nine. Okay, what do I want to dive into first? Let's see. Here's the burrito, and we got our spicy ranch. I think I'm gonna try the Mexican pizza first. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, so there's the Mexican pizza. Look at that cheese, oh my goodness. This smells like straight jalapenos though. I feel like so many fast food places have been doing jalapeno items here lately. Let's give this a try though. Oh my gosh. Mmm. They loaded this up with meat too. This is so good. Honestly, it does taste very similar to the previous Mexican pizza that they had, but I almost like this one better. Wow, that's so good. Especially after drinking this Dunkin' drink, which is so sweet. The saltiness of the Taco Bell is just hitting that much harder. Okay, now let's dive into this burrito. For that Mexican pizza, I would probably give that like a, honestly, I'd give that a, a nine out of 10. That's super delicious. Okay, here is the burrito unwrapped. Mm, I'm gonna go for this end. Hmm. Okay, I feel like this top part is just all tortilla. But also, does this just have rice in it? Hmm. Okay, it has chicken too. The description wouldn't pull up on my phone. Like, on the Taco Bell app, you can usually look at the description and see. But the description was not pulling up so I wasn't quite sure what's in it but it looks like it's chicken rice um sour cream I think they may put their red sauce in here but I'm not seeing it let's try it with the spicy ranch okay I don't love that item it doesn't really have much flavor to it their beefy burritos are probably my favorite burritos just because their beef has so much flavor in it Honestly, I would give this like a, a 4 out of 10. Yeah, it just doesn't really have any flavor to it. And your you girl needs her flavor, okay? I am a flavor queen. Take me all the way to Flavor Town. Leave me there. I will get a hotel. Like, I, I need my flavor. <laughs> okay, let me take one more bite of this Mexican pizza. And then we will go to our next fast food location for some more new fast food items. But I want to dig back in to this delicious pizza. Look at that. Yeah, that burrito makes this like a hundred out of ten. I love their Mexican pizza though. Oh, it's so, 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 so delicious. Okay, I will see you guys at our next fast food stop. All right, you guys, we've made it to our third fast food location, which if you can see behind me, it is Hardee's. Okay, so have you guys seen what Hardee's released? No, no, okay, let me tell you. So Hardee's just came out with a new Nashville hot menu. They have three new items, but we're just gonna get two today because one of them is a biscuit. So they have a Nashville hot hand breaded chicken sandwich, a Nashville hot hand breaded chicken biscuit, and then a Nashville hot hand breaded chicken tenders. So we're gonna get the chicken sandwich and then the chicken tenders. I am so excited about these items. I love anything that is like Nashville hot when it comes to chicken so I think these are gonna be pretty good Welcome, Hardy. hi how are you doing today Fine, thank you. good um could I get the Nashville hot sandwich no, what again? 
Um, the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich combo. Um, just a sandwich, but then could I also get the three-piece Nashville hot tenders as well? Just all? Three-piece or five-piece? Um, just a three-piece. And for the sauce, I think I'll do, I guess, the honey Q. Anything else for you? Yes, could I also get the strawberry lemonade? The strawberry what? Um, it's the new strawberry okay. lemonade. Okay. Yes. Anything? No, that's going to be it. 1524. Okay, thank you. thank you. Okay, yay! I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love Nashville. Hot. I went to Nashville a few years ago and there's this place called Hattie Bees. I'm pretty sure it's Hattie Bees. Yeah, it's like Hattie Bees. It's very similar to Dave's Chicken or like any other hot chicken place, but it's a Nashville staple and it's so good. They have the best Nashville hot chicken ever. Like out of anyone that has done Nashville hot, because I know KFC has done Nashville hot before too, but Hattie Bees in Nashville. If you guys ever go to Nashville, go to Hattie Bees. It's very, very good. All right, you guys, we have secured our Hardy's bag. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, she gave me a french fry. Wait, did I get a combo? Oh, she probably gave me a combo with the tenders. Okay, so it looks like we got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, which was $6.49. We also got the three-piece Nashville hot tenders for $5.59. Actually, don't think she rang me up for a combo, but she gave me... She gave me a free fry, I guess. Okay. And then we got the handcrafted strawberry lemonade. So I saw that the strawberry lemonade was new and I was like, we have to try this. Here it is. Hmm. Okay, it's good. It is really good, but let me lock my doors. It is pretty syrupy. It's very syrupy sweet. But yeah, I would probably give this a seven out of 10. It's good if you like more syrupy lemonades, but if you like a lemonade that is a little bit less sweet and kind of a more thin consistency, I would say probably pass on that. Okay, now inside of our Hardy's bag, we did get fries, which is not new, but let me I'll go ahead and take a bite of them. Mmm. Hardy's fries. They're very delicious. They kind of remind me of KFC fries in a weird way. But yeah. Now for the Nashville hot hand breaded sandwich. I could not be more excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so delicious. Okay, sorry, the sun is not great today. Look at that, you guys, that looks absolutely glorious. I see lots of mayonnaise, pickles, of course the Nashville hot hand-breaded patty lighting. Work with me, can you see me? Okay, let's take a bite. Wow, you guys, this is actually Right off the bat, I think this is a 10-10 sandwich. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The chicken patty almost reminds me of Chick-fil-A because it's not super crunchy. It's more of like that soft breading soaked up with the natural hot juices, which I personally love. I do like a good crispy chicken sandwich but i also like something that's more soft this is perfect guys this is a 10 10 for sure like honestly down to the bun i really love this sandwich That might actually be one of the best chicken sandwiches I've had in a very long time. I am 
super impressed. You guys need to come to Hardee's, get that sandwich, but we are not done yet. Now it's time to try the chicken tenders. Let's see if these are also a 10-10. Okay, we got some honey Q sauce, which is personally my favorite sauce at Hardee's. Here are the chicken tenders. If you guys can see that nice coating of the Nashville hot powder, it looks like powder. The chicken sandwich was more saucy, whereas the chicken tenders are more of a powder. So, okay, we should probably try it without the sauce first, right? Now these are super crispy. Again, chicken sandwich was not crispy, which I really liked. These are very crispy. I can't tell if I like these. They have a really good pepper flavor, but they're kind of dry. This chicken tastes completely different than the one that was on the chicken sandwich. Let me try a different one. I'm gonna dip it in the honey Q sauce as well. Okay, it's better in the honey Q sauce, but I think I would give these like a six out of 10. I don't like these nearly as much as that sandwich. And it's crazy because I do love Hardee's regular chicken tenders. Hardee's regular chicken tenders very delicious. I would give those a solid like 9.5 to a 10 out of 10, depending on like when you go and who makes them. But party chicken tenders, very good. These, they're not my favorite. They do have a good heat to them, which I like. I like the kick. Okay, my verdict on the new Nashville hot lineup at Hardee's. Definitely try the chicken sandwich. That was glorious, stunning, amazing, loved it. The chicken tenders, I would probably pass on. I think they are worth trying if you are just in the mood to try something new and you want some chicken tenders and you do like hot, I would try the chicken tenders. But personally, I would not order them again. I would just go for that chicken sandwich. Okay, I think we have one, possibly two more places to go to. I don't know, we'll see. All right, you guys, the next new item that we are trying is from Wendy's and it is the Pumpkin Spice Frosty. I almost forgot about this item. I don't know how, but luckily I remembered it and I was like, oh yeah, I really wanted to try that. Let's go to Wendy's. So we got Wendy's behind me. Now the Pumpkin Spice Frosty, it says, this is from the Wendy's website. It says, just in time for spooky season, our Pumpkin Spice Frosty combines the delectable creamy base you know and love from a classic vanilla frosty with the flavor of pumpkin and warm spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. It's like eating pumpkin pie a la mode in a single bite. Wendy's new pumpkin spice frosty is available now for a limited time in four sizes. Do they really have four sizes of the frosty? I had no clue. I'll probably just get a small, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop into the drive-thru. Sorry for the wait one, go surfing. That's okay. Um, can I just get a small pumpkin spice frosty, please? Will that be you? Yeah, that's gonna be it. 234 at the second window. Okay, thank you. Yay, they have it. I was a little bit scared that they weren't gonna have it, but luckily they do. Ooh, I'm so ready for this. I've heard really good things about this Frosty. A lot of you guys have told me it's so good. It's basically like a pumpkin pie is what I've heard, so. I can't wait. All right, you guys, we have secured our pumpkin spice frosty. It looks so good. I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm gonna use the spoon for sure. She gave me a spoon and a straw. I feel like you can't really eat the frosties with the straw. It's like the cookout milkshakes. If you ever get a milkshake from cookout, make sure you eat it with a spoon because using a straw does not work. Okay, so that's what it looks like up close. It is a very light, orangey color it's kind of like a pale like a it looks like sand it's the color of sand that's exactly what it is let's hope it doesn't taste like sand oh my gosh this really does taste like a pumpkin pie you guys were not lying Okay, this may be the best Frosty they have ever released. 
this flavor is on point there is nothing short of perfection in this frosty and it definitely is giving me all the fall vibes i am so ready for fall it's gonna be here in literally just a few days so i am super excited it doesn't quite feel like fall where i live i mean we're still kind of in that 80 degree weather territory some days it's in the 70s but for the most part it's in the 80s but i am so excited for fall this makes me want to go and bake a pumpkin pie i love pumpkin pie so i think i'm gonna have to make that this year this is a 10 10 item it's not too sweet either like obviously it's sweet because it's ice cream but the drink that i had at duncan the ice spice munchkins coffee that was actually sweeter than this which i don't know how that can be but you know just that like overly sweet flavor that's what that drink was this is just perfect this is so perfect i wish i had some fries to dip in here but would fries be good with pumpkin i feel like pumpkin and potato could quite possibly work if you guys have not tried the pumpkin spice frosty yet from wendy's run do not walk to your local frosties to your local frosties to your local Wendy's and get this Frosty because this is amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, well, I think that's actually the last item I'm going to get today. I was going to get one more item from Zaxby's. They have a new Chicken Philly cheesesteak sub type deal. It looks so good, but I am so full. I did finish the rest of that Hardee's chicken sandwich off camera, and I'm just like... I don't know if I can stomach any more like big fast food items. So I think I may just do a separate video on the Zaxby's new chicken Philly. But yeah, I, I think that's going to be it for this video, you guys. We had some hits. We had some misses. Don't let me steer you wrong, though. If something looked good and you want to try it, go try it. Because you may like it. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you won't like it. I just try to be totally honest with like my opinions in these new fast food videos. I try to tell you what I like so you know what's good, that's new. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.